Hey fam, Jericho here. Welcome to Wired Model. Um, today I'm just going to show you this uh, new helmet that I got. It's called the uh, Rurock Atlas 3.0 Cinco de Madness team. I was very skeptical to get a Rurock just because I'm not very familiar with that company. So this one, I actually, it actually came with a clear and dark uh, visor. Uh, what I did is I purchased a gold, I think this gold uh, collar. Just because you know, I want to put a little more um, uh, uh, contrast uh, to the uh, to the to the whole uh, look of the helmet, right? Um, it also came with a um, shockwave Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it's you know it's separate. You have to uh, uh, buy it as well. So I bought that. It's not very expensive. But I kind of forgot the price. But it's not. It's less, it's less than a hundred dollars. And it's very easy to install. There's already uh, a Velcro on each side and for the mic and I just had to basically stick those, uh, the speaker and the mic in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this for a ride and talk about, you know, the fit. Um, see how the wind noise is. We're also gonna talk about um, the speaker, I mean the Bluetooth speaker here. I'm gonna play some music while I'm riding and then you know see how the wind noise affects the you know the sound all right let's go get ready all right first thing first um this helmet is very light i really like it Compared to the uh, other helmet that I have, the Bell Raystar helmet, which is basically a premium helmet made uh, lighter for, you know, specifically for racing, uh, I want to say they're about the same weight. So that's a point for Rurok. Yep, remember that yellow car. There he is gonna try to race me. Alright. Let's go put him in his place. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, he's behind us now. <laughs> Alright, next thing. So, the wind noise. The wind noise, I want to say, it's pretty significant. Um, however... I read uh, on the basically the reviews that there are some hacks that you can do in order to reduce the wind noise, but I'm, you know I can expect it that given the the price of this helmet. Also, the fit um, is large, so same size as my Bell Raystar. However, it's not as um, tight as the other helmet. And what I'm worried about is that. Oh. Okay, there you go. Uh, what I'm worried about is uh, the you know as I wear it, you know it's gonna get looser eventually, and you know it's just gonna it's gonna end up moving around my head <laughs> while I'm riding, right? Also, the if I I'm feeling some wind getting through the sides of the visor, so it seems like there's um, you know there's a gap. I don't know whether it's because I'm using basically an add-on visor, that the one that comes with it. But yeah, that's I didn't like that at all. The sound quality, though, uh, it's pretty clear. I like it. Uh, however, the, the the wind noise basically pretty much affects it significantly. So I had to turn it up. I had to turn the volume up louder than I normally would. Well, lastly, I want to say it's a very stylish. Uh, one of the things that I, uh, you know. The re one of the reasons why I bought this helmet is because of the style um, and you know just looking at the people I passed through the street yeah yeah they basically they've been looking at me <laughs> uh, 
All right, so um, that's basically it. I, uh, overall, I like this helmet. Um, you know, I I'm always um, I always like British design, and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Uh, I think they just came out with the Atlas 4.0 for 2022, so you know, definitely check that out. And again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys uh, like this video, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Later's.